What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Patriots playoffs discussion. Before we get into it, if you guys like this video, give us a like and subscribe. All right, so yeah, tomorrow night uh, we are going to be watching the, the wild card round. Yeah, it's wild cards. And it's Patriots versus Tennessee. We played it in Foxborough at Gillette. Um, not feeling too confident, but no, just pulling out a win this week. I've been hearing, you know, I went in the locker room saying, oh, you know, like, this is, you know, we're going to go all out in this game. You know, this is. And then, you know, but then I've been listening, you know, the radio people, the Boston sports people, and like, no, this is the end of the Patriots dynasty. Brady's handing it all up this year. I don't know if Brady's returning after this year. I don't know if he is. I mean, there hasn't been any word about extending his contract for next year. I mean, I could definitely see the age in him this season. Like, like I'm like I said, I'm even surprised they finished twelve and four this year. I mean, I could just tell by the age. He's not a ha he's he hasn't had a good year. I don't know if it's his age or if it's the whole team. I don't know. Or the coaches. I don't know. But you know, I don't I don't I could see him possibly returning for one more season then that's probably gonna be it. He'll hand it up. Because I know there's been rumors, oh, he's going to be traded. He's going to sign with someone else. It wouldn't make sense. It wouldn't make sense to have him go somewhere else. I think, you know, he wants to finish his career out as a Patriot. So I don't I don't think Brady's leaving. I, I'm i going to say one more season he's up. But you never know. I mean, you know, I mean, Josh McDaniels is rumored to be leaving again. And, you know, but th this could be the last game for Tom Brady. Yeah, it, it could be. It could be. I mean, they keep... <laughs> Uh, and Belichick, you know, they, they keep talking up, you know, like they, they <coughs> don't really good in practice, and you know, it was some days that they're going to unleash Nikhil Harry or something ridiculous like that. I don't know what does that mean. They got unleash. I mean, if they were going to do unless, that, they wouldn't have done it. Un yeah. Unless this was Belichick's mastermind plan all this time, it was it was basically to purposely lose to Miami, and I and this is what Mark Bertrand said on ninety five. He he. This is his theory was, Belichick wanted to purposely lose to Miami, just so that way they can make every NFL team. And everyone was like, "Oh, they're garbage this year." And then he was saying like, "Oh, like they'll they'll make it to the Super Bowl. Like they're gonna play unstoppable." I don't know. I mean, yeah, there's, there's been people that have been still thinking that Pete Brady's gonna pull out and go to the Super Bowl. I mean, I don't know if they've been, been paying attention yeah, this no year, but. New he's, England has been home been, to many pull-outs before. Not, it hasn't been that good this year. The whole team hasn't been that good. I mean, they, two games ago, they played really well. So you thought, okay, they're going to finally turn around. And then the last game, went right back to how they were the last half of the season. You know, dropping passes left and right. They couldn't get their, get out of their own way. You know, you know too many stupid plays, stupid calls. Uh, like that one that they had a minute and 40 seconds <coughs> before the half. What they do, they ran the ball. Multiple and when, and times. Then, and then when they had uh, halftime without scoring, and they, when they had all three timeouts, which made no sense to me, they didn't even try to get down the field. They just they ran the ball three plays, and then that was it. Yeah, and, and then they and lost. They, they should have. They held three timeouts. You should have at least tried. I mean, you deferred the kick to the second half. So why wouldn't you use your timeouts? If you took in a timeout, you would have had a minute and forty seconds left, and then two timeouts left right when you got the ball back, and they didn't do that. And so it's like, yeah. what is? I mean, what kind of message that is Belichick sending when I agree. something like that? Makes, it made no sense to me. I think also, too, going into tonight, not tonight, tomorrow night's game, there's a lot of factors are, that are going to play into this. Like, for example, I mean, you look at the offense. I mean, it's terrible this year. That's something that's going to be a factor. Also, the weather for tomorrow. The weather is going to be very bad. Oh, it's going to be rainy. And they said snow might, some chances of snow. I don't know if. It's, I've been seeing mostly rain in New England, but the weather is definitely going to be a major factor in this game. So we'll probably be seeing a lot of them running the ball instead of Brady throwing at it a few times. So, but, you know, I don't know if they're even going to win this tomorrow. I just, I can't see it happening. I mean. Yeah, what's the kid from, what's the kid from Tennessee, the running back there? Um, I don't know what his name is. I don't pay attention to anybody else because I don't really care. Well, I do. I just forget his name. Uh, Derek, Derek Henry. I think his name is. That's 
I mean, you know, six foot three, two hundred forty yeah, seven Derek pound Henry, guy. He's, he's rushed for I think like, like I don't know, fifteen hundred yards this season or something. Even a kid that he was really good running back and they've had trouble stopping the run the entire season. I agree. I mean they can stop the pass better than they can stop the run and then if it's bad weather and they run the ball, I mean they're gonna have a, it's gonna be a long game. Of, I mean, New England's run, rushing offense is not as good as Tennessee's rushing offense. I mean, you got Sonny Michelle, who most of the time runs into the line. Everybody's starting to hate him he, now. He'd be lucky if he gets the IDG, you know, gets knocked back for you. I mean, in the last couple of games, he's done better because they've had Elaine and, Elaine and Roberts, I think his name is. Mm-hmm. You know, You're right. Back could be in, playing fullback for him. And that seemed to help a little bit. But most of the time, he draw, runs right into the line, falls down. I mean, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of Sonny Michelle. I, don't know, I just I'm not. He's good, him. but he's just terrible running the ball. I mean, he well, could. good, but he's terrible at the same time. He's terrible. He it's <laughs> like he's just terrible at running, like you know. He but can't run straight ahead. He runs. That's two the word. Small runs and, and hits the line and gets knocked back and, or gets tackled right too yeah. easily. I, mean, it, I don't understand why they even do that. I don't understand why they run it constantly. I could see why it's because nobody can catch it. I mean, even Allman has dropped the ball a few times and he should be not doing that. Yeah, he should. Be. drop passes has been unbelievable. I don't know if it's. The way Brady's been throwing the ball, and I can't remember the last time there, there, there was this many drop passes in a season. I think the first or second in the league in drop passes. That's that's ridiculous. Have that many drop passes? Yeah. I mean, I, I just think with, with no real tight end, the offensive line that's that's been pretty terrible most of the season. They can't stop the run. People dropping passes left to right. There's just too many, too many things that for them to you know keep winning games. I just I mean. The beginning of the season, they, they had Gordon and they had whatever his name was, Antonio Brown for a game. Yeah, Antonio Brown. Was there too, I uh, who was it. And they, and they lost to us for a while. So they were, you know, they had nobody really, except for these young guys. I really felt like if Brown didn't get into any trouble with the NFL and they kept Gordon, I feel like they probably would have been like, like what? Yeah, they would have six, six, not sixteen. No, probably the fourteen and two. I think they would have been a lot better. But I don't mean who's to say how Brady would have played. I mean, this is, is some of the with the issues with Brady's fault. I mean, he's throwing away more passes. So if you had the throwing away passes plus the, the balls that they, they're getting dropped on top of it, I mean, it doesn't. Mean, you can't move the ball that way. You know, on top of it, not having time to throw the ball. I mean, last game he had a lot of time to throw the ball, but they were open. And then Sanu, I'm sorry, I'm not impressed with Sanu. He's he's slow. They, I think he's caught. I mean, he's not 10, that, 12, 10, 12 he's pass. I think he's yeah. not that bad. They got him, you know, back there return a punch or or, or or kickoffs or whatever it is. And I, I don't understand that. Why don't you have a, somebody younger with more speed doing that? Like Edelman. Edelman is a he yeah, can but, run yeah, fast. Yeah, you don't want. He's like you made big, you know, your major receiver out of all the receivers so you don't want to be I'd rather time. have Dorsett running I mean, back or, or you know you uh, Brandon Bolton who's a great you, you can run, run the oh ball yeah. so they stick Sanu up. back there and he's he's too slow he can't you know he can't run run be running balls back and he can't he's having a hard time catching balls I mean I don't, I don't know how many he's caught I mean I don't know no, but Teddy sees they get um you know to get this. Yeah. Right, they got Ryan Tannehill. He's a he's a good quarterback. Yeah, they seem to have done really well with bad. Tannehill as, as quarterback. I mean, he didn't do this well when he. They they it. also have Dion <laughs> Lewis. I mean, you know, another, he played for Miami. I mean, they and they, us. You know, they didn't play. You know, didn't make it to the playoffs. But he goes to Tennessee. Now he's made, made it to the playoffs for the first time in his career. Yeah. I mean, again, the coach there was the name uh, Mike Vrabel. Used to play for the Patriots. So he used to play for the Patriots. Yeah, he used to be a linebacker. Was he good? Yeah, you know, he was pretty good. And I think, you know, it seems like these people who know the pages, you know, give the pages a tough time. I mean, just look at Flores. He just played coach of the Miami now, and the pages lost to them. Um, well, as many people think that this is all Belichick's plan to have them lose yeah, on I've purpose. Heard that they, 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 they lost on purpose. That way they wouldn't have a week off so they could keep practicing and keep getting better. I don't know if I believe that. See, it wouldn't make how sense. Do you, how do you purposely lose a game like how, like how do you do that like just play like garbage <laughs> that's I mean, the only thing I could yeah but that wouldn't make sense I mean because you have two weeks to practice I mean why just one week yeah, I don't, you have it, two weeks to practice it's like the and then like, you have the game I don't understand like you know if you had to buy you wouldn't have to play you know you might not have to play Kansas City 
So, well, I mean, either uh, either way, if we no, do, the, we're going to have to go to them. Pretty much guaranteed to play Kansas City or, do, or definitely play Baltimore. Most likely, Kansas. I'd rather lose to Kansas City than Baltimore. I'm sorry, I would. I, I rather know. I wouldn't rather I would lose to Kansas City than Baltimore. I just can't. I mean, I gotta get Lamar Jackson credit this year. I mean, he's been just outstanding. I mean, I'm surprised the Patriots never even got him. I mean, they yeah, had they, the chance they, they, to get him. They did, and they didn't take it. I'm, I'm, unless he was bad at the time, and now he's just suddenly risen. I mean, that Baltimore is unstoppable. I mean, I'm. I wouldn't. Yeah, I, I think I think we uh, probably couldn't beat them. We just don't have the skill to this year. I would be surprised if it's Baltimore. It seems that's going in there. That's what a lot of people are saying. The Super Bowl, but I don't know. We'll have to see. Yeah, you know, I don't know how the Patriots are going to do tomorrow. I, they've been so up and down the last half of the season. I, but you never know. I mean, they could pull this off and, and yeah, they could. shock I mean, everybody. They, you know. They yeah. could go to Super Bowl Fifty Four for the fourth straight year and I would shock be everybody. Shocked if, if they won tomorrow and they won the next game and the next game, the next game. So and I then mean, they go on to face whoever, probably more yeah, San Francisco. Be shocked because they would play so inconsistent. But San so. Francisco's probably gonna have to play the Seahawks and they beat them so, and that's risky. They beat them by a field goal. So yeah, that, that, I mean, think if, if I'd rather see them. Canada, I'd rather right. see them in the Saints. That'd be an awesome match. Yeah, and they did beat them last time by a field goal. That yeah, was an awesome match. I always like the Forty Guys. I mean, and I like Jimmy G. He's a he's a great quarterback this year, future Hall of Famer. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. He's only played for one real one full season, really. Hall of Famer. All right, well, oh, no. all right. Then Brady's a Hall of Famer. Well, oh, we are. Yeah, he's yeah. going to be anyway. You know, all right, but score predictions. I don't know. Tennessee 34, New England um, 28. They're not winning tomorrow. They, this is the end. This is the end of the Patriots dynasty. I, I hate to see it end this way. I mean, I think this is the disastrous way to see the end of Tom Brady Bill Belichick, Robert Kraft's probably going to jail because of all the crimes he's uh, up to. That's, that's another, that's and McDaniels thing. is out. So this is uh, the end of the dynasty. I don't know. 20 I, years. I'm pretty sure it's the end of the <clears> dynasty. But I don't <throat> think they'll lose tomorrow. I think they'll lose the following week. I think they'll get by Tennessee, but it, will, it won't be easy. And I think they'll lose the following week. So I'm going to say, I don't know. It's going to be Patriots, close. Patriots 24, tennis, Tennessee. 17 you know, maybe 23 it's gonna be like a, oh. it's gonna be like a less than the field goal or less that's, I, that's, that's what i think you I know think i was watching on felger and maz today before i left and um they had this is so funny to me they had a it's like the declaration of independence but it's the declaration of doneness and they and it, and it said the new england patriots will not win the super bowl this year and the whole bunch of other work and then jim murray signed it felger man they all signed it as a declaration like they're not winning that's that's over and they had a whole bunch of guys in the in the studio sign it it was funny i don't understand how they come up with these ideas but i don't know they don't even believe in us anyway, so. Oh, well, whatever. All right, I think, that, that, think that's going to wrap it up for this video. I'm sure we'll yeah. be doing a, we'll do a post game. Probably we'll do the games at 8 o'clock. Probably at the, uh, Sunday. You know, we're doing, uh, Sunday afternoon. Yeah, you we'll know, do an early Sunday because the game will get over late. And I'll, you know, I'm not going to want to be recording. You know, at, like, midnight, at midnight. Watching them you know, lose. Especially and, if they lose. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to feel like recording, you know, doing a video until the next day. Uh, so I think that's going to wrap it up. If you guys like this video, give us a like. And give us a subscribe. Until next time.